in this example, we have $1,500 we're going to invest in an account, and it is growing continuously, earning 2% interest. So the key word here is continuously. Whenever I see that word continuously, that means that I can use our PERT equation. So always look for that word continuously. So it earns 2% interest. When will it double? All right, so let's see if we can figure out a few things that we know. Um, I often like to use like a little table, an XY table. And X in this case uh, represents time, because that's my input. Y in this case represents dollars. So when I start at you know year zero, I start with $1,500. And I want to know when when will it double? So I don't know that, so I put a question mark there. But when it doubles, the $1,500 will become $3,000. So now I know that I'm solving for A. I'm solving for A. P is what I start with, so that's the $1,500. And, oh, no, I do know A. Back up, hang on. I do know A. Another example we're not going to know A. A is 3000 there we go, 3000 So, yeah, my amount is 3000 My starting amount is 1500 There we go. R is 2%, but of course we have to put that in decimal form, so that becomes 0.02. And then time is what we're solving for. There we go. Time is what we're solving for. So let's set up our equation. Again, we're using PERT. So A is 3000 and P is 1500 E and then raised to the power of 0.02 times t. And feel free to put that in parentheses because all that's got to stay together. We're solving for t. t is an exponent, so we know somewhere we're going to have to use logs. So let's first start by dividing both sides by 1,500. 3,000 divided by 1,500 is 2. So I have 2 equals e to the 0.02 T. Now I want to take the log of both sides. Log of both sides. I like to use natural log because that makes something disappear. So I have the natural log of 2 equals, now remember that whole exponent can come down, so I have 0.02t times the ln of e. The ln of e is 1, so that disappears. Now I can divide both sides by 0.02 2. So time, let's move over here to the right. So time is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by 0.02. And when you key that in your calculator, of course, make sure and put parentheses around that. And then when you do that, uh, I think you're going to find that it's about 34.7 and uh, well, years. So that's the, how you use logs to solve a bird problem.